Hi everyone, so we're on to lesson three now of differentiation. And who doesn't like a bit of differentiating? That's what we say. So, um, we're going to do something called the product rule. And that's when two bits are times together. So here, I've got two functions multiplying together. Now, just let me double check. I've got a feeling that the, uh, the, the product rule formula is actually in the formula booklet. I'm just going to pause it and I'll have a look. Nah, it's not. It was uh, this one here, um, which is the quotient rule, which we don't do until next year that I was thinking about. Um, so let me ditch that. And bring this back up. Boing. Right then. So. Many books will do it as u dv dx plus v du dx. I do it as first bit times by the second bit differentiated plus the second bit times by the first bit differentiated. So I actually do u dv dx first and then plus v du dx. That's how it's pretty much written in books really to be fair. Because u bit comes first. Right, so let's have a look at this then. Always with these, box your functions. Make it really clear to you that you know you've got two functions going on. <clears throat> I've got two functions multiplied together there. You've got two functions multiplied together. I could do it with u equals x squared and v equals log x, but I'm going to follow my um, my little rule here. If I can bring it down. There. First bit times by second bit differentiated, plus second bit times by first bit differentiated. So first bit is x squared. Second bit differentiated. So if I differentiate log x, it becomes 1 over x. Plus the second bit, so that's a log x, times by the first bit differentiated, which is a 2x. So I've got first bit times by second bit differentiated, plus second bit times by first bit differentiated. If I tidy it up a little bit, the x squared over x cancels as an x. I'm just going to put this 2x at the front so I don't lump it together with a log x. Because it's log x times by 2x, isn't it? It's not log of the whole bit together. And that's it. Right, so let's have a look at this bit then. So my first bit, x to the power of half. Second bit, log x. So follow the rule. First bit times by second bit differentiated. So 1 over x for differentiated. Plus second bit times by first bit differentiated. So a half x to the minus a half. Tidy up a little bit. Now the x to the half divided by x will actually give us x to the power minus a half plus a half x to the minus a half log x. So that's actually quite nice because if we wanted something like stationary points, we'd want it as factors. So if I was looking at stationary points, I'd want to take out the x to the power of minus a half as a factor and have 1 plus a half ln x is equal to 0. So that'd be quite nice because I want factors. I want to have it in a factorised form. You, don't, you can write that down, but put a box around it. It's only if we're doing stationary points. It's the same with this one, really. If I was doing stationary points, which we might be doing later, I'd want to take out the x as a factor and have 1 plus 2 ln x is equal to 0. So that would be only if I was working out stationary points. Because you've got to factorise it to do it. Right, here we go. Here's another one. So this is nice. First bit second bit. So dy by dx is first bit 
times by second bit differentiating, which is just 3x squared, plus second bit, which is x cubed plus 2, times first bit differentiated. e to the x differentiated stays as e to the x. That's the whole magic of the number that e is. There. So, I mean, I could here take out e to the x as a factor, I would have a 3x squared, an x cubed, a 2, lots of e to the x. And that's quite nice, isn't it? Because I'm in a position, loads of ticks on it, don't know why I've got the ticks on, all the ticks, it's an arrow. Ugh. That's in a position where I'm good to go for the stationary points. Because it's equal to zero. Oh, sorry, it's some factors. Uh, there's one for you. You have a go at it. Now they'll set it out slightly different than I thought. Uh, yeah, they've done the whole thing. So I'd have done this bit going first. Really. So they've used the full formula, whereas I'm just cheating. Uh, Shall I get rid of that and write it out? Oh, I wouldn't have done that. that box. So dy by dx. First bit, don't forget whenever you do this, Always put your little clock right on. Differentiate cos goes to minus sine plus cos x times by. Well, that's cubed. Tidy it up. Uh, that would be an absolutely nightmare to do stationary points on. Because you could only take out the x cubed, you'd have like an x with tan removed from there, we wouldn't do that. Right, next bit. <clears throat> right, we're on seven minutes, I might just stop there uh, and do another vid, because I've done that page. Right, hang on.